this video, I'm going to explain some of the issues we had along the way while we was building our car wash. Our first issue that we're going to talk about is our main drive pulley. <clears throat> it doesn't exactly fit this belt quite right, so it wants to shift out of line. What we're going to do is we're going to get our machine shop program to mill us out a new one so we'll have a deeper channel. That way it will prevent this from happening. Another issue we had is our sensors and our reflectors. Whenever the water sprays out, it splashes onto it and it clings to the face of both of these. So our solution to that was we got some water repellent, sprayed it on the face of each, and now the water that hits it just falls right off. Next we have our underspray valve, which is right here. This is our control valve for it. Our original design that we had for it was 24 volt DC, but the one you see right now is 24 AC. That's off of the air conditioning unit. The one that we had, the only one we could find really, only had a 3 16th inside diameter, so enough water pressure couldn't get through for our underspray. So we asked our air conditioning program here if they had a control valve such as that, and they did, so we took it, and it ended up working great. <clears throat> Next is our pumps. Each pump individually draws two and a half amps, and we have three of them, but our power supply could not handle all three of them working together. I'll show you it in the box. This right here is the power supply <coughs> that controls our pumps. This power supply can only handle four and a half amps. So I had to write it in the program for only one pump to be on at a time. If two ran together, it burned this power supply up, ruin it, and we'd have to buy another one. This right here is our transformer. This is what we had to add in for our underspray valve since it's 24 AC. We got 120 coming in, gives it out to 24 AC. <coughs> and that's what goes to our control valve. Our last issue we're gonna cover is our control box itself. This is a wooden box that we made ourselves here. So we, nothing can be grounded properly. So our solution to that was that we got these ground terminals that they cling to the DIN rail themselves. And then we ran a jumper wire from each ground terminal back to our main plug-in ground. <clears throat> so now everything is properly grounded. This concludes our videos on our car wash. And if you have any questions, you can just write it in the comments. And as soon as we see it, we'll get back to you. I appreciate your time. And thank you for watching.